Bionic Ever After, is a made-for-television science fiction action film which originally aired on November 29, 1994 on CBS. The movie reunited the main casts of the television series The Six Million Dollar Man and its spin-off The Bionic Woman. Series regular characters Steve Austin, Lee Majors, and Jamie Summers, Lindsay Wagner, Oscar Goldman, Richard Anderson, and Dr. Rudy Wells, Martin E. Brooks are featured along new characters Kimberly Harmon, Haviland, Farrah Fork, Carolyn McNamara, and Lockhart, John McNamara, Alan Sadder, and Miles Kendrick, Geordie Johnson. In the movie, the long overdue wedding of Steve and Jamie is put in doubt when Jamie's bionic systems begin to fail and Steve is caught in a tense hostage situation. This is the third and final reunion movie in the franchise, following the return of the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman (1987) and Bionic Showdown, the Six Million Dollar Man and the Bionic Woman (1989). Topic. Plot Jamie Summers is counseling OSI agent Kimberly Harmon, who was severely traumatized on her last mission and begs Jamie for help getting out of the OSI. Jamie informs Oscar Goldman that Kimberly is unfit for an upcoming mission and needs time to heal. On the way to meet her fiancé Steve Austin at his boat, her bionic ear malfunctions, greatly amplifying the sounds around her and causing her to wince in pain. The two discuss the plans for their upcoming wedding. Later, while playing an bionically intense racquetball game with Steve, Jamie's right hand appears to be giving her trouble, allowing Steve to win for the first time. The next evening, her hand pain begins to worsen and Steve takes notice. That night as Jamie lays immobile in bed, someone replaces one of the computer chips in her bionic right arm with a new one labeled, Phase 2. At the U.S. Embassy in Nassau, Bahamas, Oscar visits with U.S. Ambassador John McNamara and his wife Carolyn, who are preparing to host a ball with guest of honor, tennis star Astad Rashid. Oscar leaves with regrets, explaining that he is best man at Steve and Jamie's wedding and can't stay. On the day of the ball, an armed team in a black van infiltrates the embassy, taking the ambassador, his wife, and their guests hostage. The group, led by Miles Kendrick, deploys a Scud missile with a nuclear core pointed at the heart of the city as insurance against a rescue attempt and demand that Rashid buy handed over to them. Back in Washington, Jamie explains to Oscar that her bionic systems seem to be breaking down and that she's worried about the impact it will have on Steve and their wedding. The discussion is put on hold as word of the embassy attack comes in. Later, while in a counseling session with Kimberly, Jamie collapses and is rushed to the hospital. Dr. Rudy Wells, the pioneering bionic surgeon, tells Steve that Jamie might have neurological damage and may never be bionic again. In the hospital, Jamie sends Steve away, and he is forced to cancel the wedding. Not willing to sit idly as Jamie suffers and to repay a life-saving debt to John McNamara, Steve asks Oscar for an assignment to resolve the embassy situation. Kimberly meets with Steve, telling him that Oscar assigned her as his partner on the mission. Inside the embassy, Kendrick's men are searching for Rashid, hidden somewhere within. Steve and Kimberly arrive in Nassau and begin making preparations for the rescue. After giving him a cup of drugged coffee, Kimberly cuts open Steve's bionic arm in the same way Jamie's was earlier. Dr. Wells discovers that Jamie is suffering from a computer virus which has infiltrated her bionic systems. 
He resolves to shut down her power supply completely and replace the infected chips. Jamie wakes and Rudy tells her that he took the opportunity to make some improvements. Rudy talks to Oscar, explaining that he had an associate in his bionics. Research, Dr. Jason Haviland, with whom he had a falling out and who he suspects might have a motive and knowledge to sabotage Jamie. She and Oscar visit Connie Haviland, Jason's widow, who explains that leaving the OSI and Bionics research took a toll, causing him to drink heavily until he died of cirrhosis four months earlier. They spot a picture of Kimberly in Connie's house, revealing that Kimberly Harmon is in fact Kimberly Haviland, Jason's daughter, and that she is familiar with her father's work. OSI finds shortwave radio equipment in her apartment, revealing that she has been in contact with Kendrick. Steve makes his entry into the embassy by bionically jumping to the water tower which is coincidentally where Rashid has been hiding. Kendrick's men, hearing sound from the tower, capture Rashid instead of Steve. Steve's bionics begin to break down and he, too, is captured by Kendrick and thrown into the basement. Jamie arrives in Nassau and confronts Kimberly before making her way into the embassy under cover of darkness aided by bionic night vision, one of the improvements of which Rudy spoke. She kicks down the basement door and rescues Steve and the other hostages. A radiation alert rings out across the city and Oscar sends a nuclear containment NEC team into the embassy. Kendrick's men change into matching NEC outfits to cover their escape by replacing the real NEC team. Kendrick's team loads into an NEC truck, driven by Kimberly, taking an unconscious Rashid with them. Steve and Jamie give chase, bionically running after the truck. Miles pulls out a remote detonator telling Kimberly that once they escape, he'll ensure no one will follow them. Jamie grabs a manhole cover and, using a new bionic targeting display, throws it at the truck, causing it to flip over. In a moment of regret, Kimberly whispers a warning to Jamie about the detonator. She tells Steve, who shoots the remote and ends the threat. Some time later, the wedding of Jamie and Steve commences. Rudy gives away the bride to Steve, who eagerly skips straight to the I do. The couple kiss, ignoring the rest of the formalities, and the annoyed minister pronounces them husband and wife. Topic. Cast Starring Lee Majors as retired Air Force Colonel Steve Austin, a former astronaut who was bionically enhanced after a crash and used his newfound strength to operate as a covert agent for the Office of Scientific Intelligence OSI. Lindsay Wagner as former tennis pro Jamie Summers, who was bionically enhanced after a skydiving accident, and operated as an agent for the OSI. Jamie now holds a Ph.D. and is a family counselor. Richard Anderson as Oscar Goldman, director of operations of the OSI and longtime friend to both Steve and Jamie. Farrah Fork as Kimberly Harmon, Haviland, an OSI agent getting counseling from Jamie for a traumatic experience on her last mission. Martin E. Brooks as Dr. Rudy Wells, the surgeon who pioneered bionics and completed the enhancements of Steve and Jamie. Alan Sadder as John McNamara, U.S. Ambassador to the Bahamas. Anne Lockhart as Carolyn McNamara, the wife of John. Geordie Johnson as Miles Kendrick, a mercenary featuring given Sergei as Astad Rashid, a charismatic tennis star. 
Lee Majors II as Jim Castilian, an OSI agent Robert O. Ryford as Minister James Shanter as Rock Michael Hartson as Stone Anne Pierce as Connie Haviland Michael Camden Richards as NEC Technician Shanghai Stafford as Marine Captain General Furman Judd Jr. as Bahamas Policeman Michael Burgess as Delta Commando Stephen Foster as reporter cameo Dave Thomas uncredited appears as one of the hostages held in the embassy basement. Thomas is the founder of the Wendy's fast food chain. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Production. During development, the movie was titled Bionic Breakdown referring to the subplot involving Jamie's failing bionics. Response The movie was ranked number 29 in the Nielsen ratings for the week it first aired, with 18.0 million viewers, a 12.1 rating, and an 18 share. <laughs> Home media All three reunion films were included alongside the $6 million Man in a 40-disc DVD set from Time Life on November 23, 2010 and a 35-disc DVD set from Universal Home Video on October 13, 2015.